Welcome to our second video featuring the ever knowledgeable Paula. The eagle eyed amongst you will see that she's clearly been promoted and now is in charge of new technology integration. Today, Paula will be introducing you to some of the requirements and best practices that must be followed for a safe and secure tablet deployment. There is much to consider. Paula's challenge is to implement a mobile solution for payment and customer engagement. She has chosen a mobile payment device and a tablet that she needs to combine to enable both assisted cell and MPOS applications. Paula is, of course, fully aware of the PCI DSS 3.2 standard, but she needs to learn more about mobile devices and finds the PCI Mobile Payment Acceptance Security Guidelines for Merchants as End Users on the PCI Security Council homepage. Paula also finds a very useful PDF document called Accepting Mobile Payments with a Tablet and realises that she needs to comply with the PCI Data Security Standard when implementing mobile payment solutions. Paula wasn't aware of this, but now she understands what to do next. Together with her colleague, Paula studies the guidance for securing mobile devices and finds a sentence that reads, One of the risks to the merchant is the ease for a criminal to steal such a terminal modify it and return it without anyone realising it was gone. Since the mobile device has no fixed location, keeping track of it, a clear merchant responsibility, becomes more challenging. Remember, merchants are the first line of defence for POS fraud, are involved in the execution of the vast majority of controls suggested or required by PCI SSC. So Paula needs to find a solution that enables her to deploy the tablets and mobile payment devices in a secure manner so that she is able to track the devices and therefore comply with PCI DSS 3.2 requirement 9.91 which states maintain an up-to-date list of devices. On page 12 of the document Paula also finds that the merchant is responsible for ensuring the integrity and security of the mobile device and its secure storage when they're not in use i.e. in a locked cabinet tethered to a counter or under 24-hour surveillance. So now Paula knows how she should be considering to secure her devices in a way that reflects PCI DSS requirement 9.9 .9, as well as the mobile guidelines from PCI. She has made a list which she will share with you here. The solution to the challenges as far as Paula is concerned is to deploy the tablets in secure frames that offer mobility as well as security by use of a carrying strap. Fix the mobile payment terminal to the tablet to prevent substitution and keep a close eye on the terminal when it is handed to a customer. And finally, to store hardware in a secure location to prevent tampering or substitution of the device. Regularly inspect devices for signs of tampering or substitution. To use security shields between the tablet and the case and the frame. Secure the device to the structure of the point of sale where possible and use locks or other securing mechanisms. Feeling confident that she now understands what is necessary, Paula needs to partner with a supplier who has also a deep understanding of the requirements and issues with regard to mobility and PCI DSS best practices. She decides to call in an ergonomic solutions specialist. Well known for their PCI expertise and knowledge, they are the only company that can provide end-to-end -end mobility solutions that address the challenges that Paula has identified. Whether Paula needs the devices to be fixed or mobile, Ergonomic Solutions provides physical security to match the application. Tethers or covered home buttons, locks or full enclosures, the security worries are covered and the combined UCS for storage and intelligent charging ensures investment protection when the devices are not in use. This combination of a flexible, modular product set combined with a customer-centric culture delivers insights that Paula simply cannot ignore. Remember, complying with all PCI legislation is vital. The potential fines and subsequent impact on business can be enormous. Ensuring physical security best practice makes sense. In fact, it drives Paula's entire security strategy.